fellas, welcome back to another video, man. You guys seen it? We're getting to work on our interior. No, we still got a few things that we got to do to this interior. For those who know, the last thing we did was these bucket seats, as you can see. Still got to do the passenger one. Haven't had the time to do it, but uh, well, I do have the time, just don't feel like I need to right now. But as you guys see, man, we're gonna get our speakers in, head unit, subwoofer right here. Because as you can see, there's absolutely nothing in this truck, no speakers, nothing. This is how I got the truck. So uh, we've been doing a lot of work on the exterior. I want to start working on the interior now. So now that I'll be driving a truck more, definitely want a head unit, a radio. And if I'm also going to be doing more POV drives and whatnot, but y'all know the deal, man. It's nothing new. Another day, another mod. Go ahead and get these speakers installed. Nothing too crazy, nothing too difficult, but uh, a mod nonetheless. But you guys see everything we're about to get installed. We got our four by six speakers. Uh, two inch little tweeters for the door and then our six and a half inch also for the door gotta have that bracket as well wiring head unit that's a pretty cool head unit i'll go ahead and show you guys that hopefully it works well it's like a little android head unit nothing too crazy wanted to have apple carplay so i was like why not give it a shot but uh yeah man like i said earlier what i'm most excited to show you guys is what we're gonna do with this little combination right here so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get our speakers in. We're gonna do our four by six speakers first. Those are the ones that go right here, right behind the seat, as you can see right there and right there on this side. So we'll get those connected first and then move on to the doors right here. So here's our little four by six speaker. We got a Kenwood for the majority of the truck. I'm gonna be doing Kenwood speakers all around just because I like Kenwood, so. So luckily for me, someone already had a system in this truck, as you can see. So I really just got to plug and play. Just got to figure out which one's positive and negative. So there you have it, just like that. Like I said, just plugs right on in. Dark blue wire is going to be positive, And then the greenish light blue one's going to be negative. And then that just slides in like that. And then, then just screw back in. And then onto that side. And then that's pretty much it for the wall speakers. So next up is going to be our door, like I said. Small tweeter right there. Six and a half inch speaker right there. Links in the description if you guys want to check these out. Kenwood and then I was unable to find some small Kenwood ones, but I heard these are good as well So we got some scar check out the quality that's solid steel man So pretty much right now just got to make that hole a little bigger to fit these in right there So let's go ahead and do that So kind of just going along with the razor just making it bigger and then that tweeter So just slide on it as you can see it cuts pretty easy So just go along the whole thing make it a little bigger and then that's pretty much it man good to go so as you can see, we had to take the door panel off, just to make it a little easier to get that bigger speaker. But as you can see, we made the whole bigger speaker now slides right on in. And to make things easier, like I said, this truck used to have a system. So these are pretty much ready to plug and play. Wiring, gotta do wiring for the little ones. So gotta cut that, clean them up, get them connected. This is what we're working with here. That's gonna go up there. Then we got our bigger six and a half down here. So go ahead and do that. And, but check it out, man, Kenwood. These are real clean, real nice. We'll see how they sound. They should sound pretty good. Link in the description. So we'll go ahead and do these first. All right, so to come to our findings, these were essentially not connected to anything. So whoever wired this previously had it all cut up, as you can see. So not gonna be using any of that wiring. This is the one we're supposed to be using for the speakers. You got your dark green, light green. We'll probably tap our both our tweeter and six inch speaker to both of these right here. Give it power. So basically the way we're gonna try to wire up our tweeter, check it out. So we have the positive going to the capacitor, then we got our negative. Essentially, just go ahead and wire that up and then we should be good to go. There you go, so like I said, for these ends, just gonna connect over here. You got the brown, the tan, the gray. So over here, the brown one's gonna be positive and then you're gonna have your negative right here. All right, so there you have it, you got our brown, wire with the gray wire with this black stripe that's your positive get those connected then the same thing on the other side all right just to make wiring more simple for the big speaker we're tapping into that same wire you can see positive negative so so that wiring down right here is for the tweeter and then we just tapped into it for the big speaker that's just gonna plug in and we should be good man so there you go plugs in just like that and our speaker is ready for install right there just got to screw it in and we should be good man same thing on that side so we'll go ahead and show you that real quick all right there you have it it's all wired up but just before we do that side we want to go ahead and put the head unit first just to make sure we're all good and clear on that so just got to take this plastic trim off and then uh, put our bracket our head unit just wire it up and then we'll be able to test the speaker there you go so this is the bracket that i got it just slides right on in you really don't got to do nothing 
link in the description if you want to go ahead and check that out but you can see that nice and flush so that's pretty much it for that bracket check out our stereo head unit like i said i went with the apple carplay one um i did want to get just a basic pioneer kenwood one you know you know you can never go wrong but i was like you know what if i want like navigation and all that shit gotta try a smart one if it works it works if not i'll let you guys know here it is we got a single din with the screen it's pretty decent size it's about the size of a of like an iphone or a smartphone just a little longer but uh that should just slide right on in so to make wire and easier we got this little adapter right here you can see it already has all our ends pretty much ready to get wired up into the power of the head unit so let's get that all wired up then uh we should have action all right check it out fellas we got it all wired up we just tested it and it looks good speakers work sounds good so let me just go ahead and show you guys how we have this wired up just in case you want to do it as well so check it out this is uh like i said we bought this adapter so that'll be in the description uh this one's separate this one comes with the radio obviously so all you're doing is basically wiring it to the adapter so you got this cable fl to that white one right there first one on the left second one on the left you got fl plus right there it's gonna be the second wire so you got front left front left next one is front right as you can see it's gonna be that third cable right there fourth cable fourth wire it's gonna be front right as you can see down right there so just keep in mind these are all labeled from the radio so if you buy a similar one to this should have no issues hooking it up then that next one that fifth one it's gonna be a ground as you can see and that red one as you can see that one says ignition switch so that one gives it power so that one's gonna be labeled acc as you can see right there like i said that's that red cable that orange one you're gonna go ahead and skip and then you got this top purple one rear right check it out same for this blue one as well nothing to it nothing to it so you see we left that one so all we have left is these these four right here then you got your rear left it's gonna be that top green one right there then you got the next rear right right there as you can see rear right positive which is that purple one right there that other one's in the other one you got so keep in mind you got you know you got rear right negative and you got rear right positive then you got rear left negative for that green one then the last two and keep in mind these are mostly color matched as well so it's pretty easy then you got b plus for that yellow one rear left positive for that last green one so that's pretty much it man down here camera i'm not installing the camera so that just stays unplugged and these two right here are antennas so for your wi-fi bluetooth obviously they'll stay unplugged as well these are just antennas so that's pretty much it as far as hookup man and then this right here is going to be the navigation you know if i'm abusing like google maps and all that so that's just a little sticky pad just go ahead and stick that somewhere in there and then that's pretty much it fellas you got yourself a radio and there you have it that's pretty much it with this side we did the same thing the dark and green wire we routed to both this speaker and the tweeter so they both have the same power they're utilizing the same two wires so now just got to get it hooked up get the door panel back on and that's pretty much it man on to the sub and there you have it you can see on this side got our speaker there uh then we're gonna put our tweeter right there and then that cover's gonna go right over that and that's pretty much it man our door panels are back together and there you have it man that's our complete setup last thing is just that cover as you can see you got our speakers we're good to go man that's pretty clean setup if you ask me not too crazy i ain't putting like a huge crazy sound system in here i ain't gonna put speakers everywhere just those two the ones right there and a sub i'm good man i don't need nothing too crazy that gets the job done there you have it got our speakers hooked up now we go ahead and put our dash plastic back on the steering wheel goes all the way down so if you're doing this your gear level has to be all the way down the steering wheel all the way down to get this to come on and off So now we're gonna move on to our sub like i said we got our sub got our amp got our amp kit got this kit right here will be in the description but this as you can see this one's for about 1500 watts like i said i'm not doing anything too crazy so if you're doing something similar this should work as well comes with all the wiring you need connections rca cable so pretty much a complete set so now we just gotta figure out how to wire it up so right now the way we're thinking about doing it is putting our fuse here rounding it down this way to the positive right there if you can see it and then into the firewall right there and then into the cab 
So right now we're just setting up the fuse box. Like I said, um, the portion that the wire goes into is a little tight. As you see in there for the thickness of the wire that came with the kit. So that right there going into there, it's a little small. So kind of just prying it open, making it a little bit bigger. And then uh, we should be able to get it in there. All right, there you have it. Got both ends for the fuse. Now we're doing the portion that gets to the battery. Connects just like that. Get that timed up and get that hooked up to the battery and then into the firewall. So there you go. You can see routed it right through the firewall, right through that hole right there. Just made a little hole. Some self tappers right there for the fuse. Good to go. And then you come around this side, pull the wire through and we got cabin access fellas. So pretty much halfway there. All right. So now that we're done with that, we'll go ahead and do our ground next. All right. There you go. Got that all done. Nice and tucked. Let's go ahead and do our ground next. All right, for our ground, we're gonna go ahead and put it right here on the back seat. As you can see, it's a pretty thick bolt, so we gotta drill it out just a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, that's gonna work. So we'll get that tightened up and then uh, wired up. So we got our amp right here. Ground is gonna go right there, as you can see. Got that little setup right there. Our red power wire is gonna go right next to it, right there, plus 12 volts, and then we'll go ahead and hook it up to the sub. <laughs> and there you have it just like that got our amp all wired up so go ahead and get the rest going all right there you go got our amp pretty much all set up you got your positive and negative you got your rem your remote right there cord right there positive or ground and positive right there for the amp that's pretty much how you set it up then you have your rca going into here but for this you have this green subwoofer wire you're definitely gonna need a, a Y RCA to uh, split it into two. So you got a male end and two female ends that the RCA goes into. So there you go. And then that feeds all the way into the amp. And then that's pretty much good. Next, we'll go ahead and set up our base knob, which is also gonna connect into the, uh, into the amp. And then with another RCA cable into the uh, base knob itself. But yeah, first, before we do that, I went ahead and changed our sub speaker because we thought we wired some wrong, but it turns out the sub was no good. So change it out for this one. It's another 12. Like I mentioned earlier, basically what we're going to do here with the center console, try to figure out a way to screw it onto this. So we can have a little center console action right there. So I think we can make it work. Let's see. Now we moved on to the base knob. That's the base knob I went with. So kind of just temporary hiding in there. Just get it all wired up. Get this shit done. So like I said, for your base knob, all our wires are yellow because that's, that's what we had to use to extend the wire, but black is your ground. Now to explain the RCA for this, here we go. So if you have that green, like I said, that green plug from earlier, if you're gonna go ahead and do a, uh, a base knob like I am, so you're gonna need the male Y, two females into the basic RCA, it has two male ends. So that's gonna go all the way through, through, and then connect to the uh, base knob. And then for the other two RCAs on the, uh, that's the base knob right there. So the first two, like I said, are input that go into that Y to the radio. And then you have another RCA cable that's gonna go, that's gonna be two male lens for the output. And then that one goes to the amp. And if you can see it right there for the base knob, we just tapped into the, uh, into the power right there for the amp. That's gonna be that small red wire you see right there that's coming from the base knob and then directly into the power source right there. All right, fellas, so check it out. We got everything back together back the next day. Got a little late last night, but check it out, man. Our head unit fitting nice and flush. I like how that looks. Looks like a little mini tablet right there. And we got Apple CarPlay, YouTube, all that shit. So now to the subwoofer, like I was saying earlier. So my whole plan with this was to have that, you know, kind of bolt on that middle console right here on this end. I'll have it right there. But, uh, you know, we don't do measurements around here, man. We just try things and experiment. So, um, obviously, right here, it was too high. Um, if I had put that middle console, it'd been, it would have been, like, up here too high. So, I feel a cool little armrest. I like it. But I think eventually down the line, I could probably cut it, make it lower. Um, either I could cut it at an angle, you know, make it lower, put some cup holders, make a little center console, and uh, it'll look good. I mean, even like that, it's not bad. Um, still have pretty decent room in here. Um, Y'all can see it, man. It fits in here nice and snug and not too bad. So I'll keep it like that for now. You guys see the radio, but, uh, but yeah, for the moment, for content reasons, you know, we try and push out content quick. We just put our base knob right here just to put it right there for the meantime. I think later, what I'll eventually do is move the uh, cutout switch down here and then put the base knob up here because it's too small down here. So I'll probably just switch those eventually down the line so it looks a little more flush. 
but as you see we got it all hooked up wired up let me go ahead and start that up for you guys obviously i can't play any music you know because of copyright strike and whatnot but uh i'll go ahead and show you guys head unit little bass knob there you go we got our voltage meter i mean here it is nothing crazy i mean it's just like a, like i said a mini tablet you know it does everything you need um you're able to change the theme change the boot animation you know if i want to start you know when i start the truck if i wanted to say chevy or chevrolet i could do that and then you have your equalizer you have the Knox, spotify apple carplay youtube ways i mean it does it all so kind of one of the reasons i wanted to try one of these um you know if it does you know perform poorly in the future you know i'll just throw in a regular single den in there a little kenwood pioneer some shit like that yeah, it's just your basic android unit but there it is man the main reason i got that one was because of how flush it looks y'all can see man don't stick out or nothing it's flush nice and flush with our sub bass knob there you have it fellas there you have it there you have it if you guys have any questions for installation bass knob whatever it is feel free to let me know i try to show what i can um this is not really a diy channel it's just me modding my truck and having fun with it so i try to show a little bit of the process to help you guys out as well but yeah all that said let's go ahead and check out the system There you have it, fellas. You know, that's gonna be the best demonstration I could do without, you know, can't have lyrics, of course, you know, we have copyright, so. But nonetheless, man, best believe, that shit sounds crazy. And uh, these tweeters, man, those are some good ass tweeters and speakers as well, man. Those are some good, that's a good ass combo. Like I said, if you're not looking for nothing too crazy, like it sounds good, don't get me wrong. It sounds real good. I'm not saying they're the best speakers out there because there definitely are better, but for sure, I'm definitely satisfied with these. So like I said, you know, if you guys want to look into these, you know, those door speakers, six and a half inch Kenwood, pretty much my whole system is Kenwood, except for those tweeters, Scar Audio. These were solid as well. So I have both of these in the description if you guys want to check those out. These I already had on the side, so I'm sure you could just Google these and find them. And my subwoofer is also Kenwood. So there you have it, man. System complete, not for the rest of the interior. Just got to get that other bucket seat in. Got to get a black headliner maybe a steering wheel down the line and uh yeah man that's how we're looking all right fellas but there you have it man all that being said that's pretty much it for our install got our head unit got our base knob and got our subwoofer so y'all seen it if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments and like i said everything that i pretty much use is going to be in the description so you know if you guys are looking to do a sound system as well check it out man like i said if you're looking for a nice cool low setup this is solid, but you know, but yeah, man, it's gonna be pretty much it for this video. You guys know the saying around here, man, another day, another mod, but nonetheless, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the boy, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Stay tuned, man, because you know, we still got more mods coming to this truck. The interior is pretty much, for the most part, done at this moment. I just need to add a headliner and uh, add that second bucket seat. And that's pretty much it, man. Eventually, I think I'll do a steering wheel. I'll do a video on that later. You know, down the line, I eventually want to get that stick shift for you guys. Turbos. Don't worry, fellas. We still got a lot of plans coming for this truck. And I know that we're getting to that point where it's kind of almost done. But no worries, man. We got another build on the way. And I think you guys are going to like it, man. It's going to be a good one as well. But yeah, man, it's going to be pretty much it for this video. Y'all stay tuned, man. You know we got a lot more heat coming to the channel. And for this truck and a new truck coming soon. But uh, I'll see you on the next video, man.